Welcome back, everybody. This is Glockman4519. I am back again with another ROM overview. Uh, this one here is Vanilla Unicorn. Um, it is new to the Nexus 6. It has been out for a while for other devices, uh, but they, they, they have finally uh, made a build for the Nexus 6. Um, the build I'm running is March 13th. Um, I kind of I thought it was March 15th. I don't know where I got that uh, date from, but uh, it is actually build 13th. Uh, this is a Cyanogen mod based ROM um, that pulls from uh, AOKP, uh, Dirty Unicorns, and uh, of course Cyanogen mod, uh, AOSP, um, stuff like that. Um, and again, this is, but it is purely based, uh, or at least the base of it is Cyanogen mod. So, um, with it being new, if you go to the OP in the XDA thread or even on the uh, Google Plus. Uh, community for uh, the for uh, vanilla unicorn um, they're going to tell you that um, the ROM right now is in in is in its infancy uh, especially for the Nexus 6 uh, especially for marshmallow um, and there are go there's going to be more to come so uh, for right now guys uh, this is going to be a very quick uh, ROM overview uh, because it is basic uh, signage mod and I mean basic uh, so let's go to about phone uh, as you can see, uh, this is Vanilla Unicorn. Uh, it is for the Nexus 6. Uh, this is Android version 601. Um, Vanilla Unicorn version unknown, uh, I'm guessing, because this uh, must be an unofficial build. Um, that I'm not 100% sure of. Uh, you, you know, well, you'll have to go to the Google community. Uh, um, the, the Vanilla Unicorn Google community. Uh, and see, read up yourself, see if this is an official or not. Uh, I am running uh, the Elemental X kernel, um, and I am running uh, version 3.09, uh, and I am not. I, I am well aware there are updates to this. Uh, right now it is 3.11, but uh, the updates do not um, have that option for uh, SE Linux permissive. Uh, it is all... Uh, enforcing uh, right by default and there's no way to switch it unless you flash the uh, permissive zip that is floating around I think there's also a link uh, on Elemental X's uh, XDA thread for this zip as well um, I don't like doing that the less I flash the happier I am uh, I'm having no problems with build uh, 3.09 uh, I'm actually loving it quite a bit so that's the kernel I'm running all right, moving on, guys. Oh, and by the way, um, this is uh, the build date again, uh, March 13th, um, 2016, and this is build number uh, MHC19J. Uh, All right, we're going to go into develop, or developer options. Uh, again, you guys can see this is straight Cyanogen mod. You have your advanced reboot, um, pretty much uh, all of your other <laughs> Cyanogen mod settings. Uh, OEM unlock, um, root access. Uh, I did flash SuperSU uh, version 2.52 on this, um, and it worked like a charm. And I'm even running multi ROM, and this I flashed it to a secondary ROM slot. I had no problems at all uh, with version 2.52 running Elemental X uh, 3.09 <laughs> version kernel. So, um, there's the uh, uh, update signage mod recovery. I don't recommend that. Uh, I recommend staying with Twerp, the latest Twerp. Uh, I think that's uh, 3001 right now. Um, and there's your Android debugging and all of your debugging and ADB um, uh, interface uh, um, settings there. Uh, of course, you have your local terminal for those of you that use that or know what that is. Uh, it is a very, very handy tool to have. Uh, pretty much every Marshmallow uh, build out there, at least that I'm aware of, has this feature in it. Um, it's just a nice feature to have. I'm glad to have it. Uh, you have your development shortcut. All that's in there. Uh, if we scroll on down to the uh, animations part of the developer options, you're going to find your multi-window mode. Uh, that is where you can tick that on or off uh, if you guys use multi-window. Uh, then, all, of course, all the way at the bottom, you're going to find your kill app back button. All right. Uh, again, uh, this is going to be short and sweet. Uh, sweet. Uh, the only reason is is because I've gone over so many different ROMs lately, uh, videos, um, especially signage and mod builds, that these settings are going to just be so redundant. Uh, it's just, uh, at least for now, guys. And remember, 
this is the first build for this ROM or for this device. Uh, there are going to be more builds, uh, and he's going to try to add features as we go. So this is going to get nothing but better. Um, let's see. We go into date and time. Uh, it is set up at 12 hour and not 24 hours, so that's pretty cool. Um, then of course we have privacy because this is a CM. Uh, based ROM, uh, we, you guys do have your privacy guard and your privacy settings in here, your blocked color list, all that, that's in here. Um, uh, go on up to status bar, uh, these are your status bar settings, anything on your status bar, clock, battery, uh, things like that. This is where you're going to change that. Uh, you have your, uh, your battery bar icons, uh, you can pick and choose what you want to show on your battery bar. Uh, then you have your clock style, center, left, right, whether you want to show it uh, at all. Uh, and then you have your AM, PM, uh, then your battery status style. Uh, not a lot to choose from from that, uh, but that's pretty much basic it, across the board for any ROM right now. Um, I'd love to see a battery bar in here. Uh, they don't have that, but again, uh, if you go to the Play Store and you type in a search uh, in the search bar for Team Battery Bar or Team Battery Bar Pro, and I highly recommend the Pro version, uh, you can run a battery bar on your phone. You don't even have to be rooted to run it. Uh, let's see. And you have your brightness control, um, notification count. All that stuff is there. Uh, then you have your network. Um, to show your network uh, activity, you know, in-going, outgoing data, uh, both of them, one of them, uh, you know, you can pick and choose or not show it at all, uh, which is exactly what I did. Uh, let's see here. That was the status bar. Um, trying to think what I want to show. Uh, security. Um, here's where you can encrypt your phone. Um, of course, uh, you know, make passwords visible and stuff like that. Uh, device administrators, uh, your unknown sources. Remember, guys, if you're going to sideload any apps at all, any apps that you have on your card or, or uh, you know, on your internal storage that you want to flash, not flash, but install, you have to have uh, your unknown sources clicked on uh, or you're not going to be able to uh, install them. Um, and then all the way down at the bottom, of course, is your screen pinning. If you guys use that, uh, the feature is there. Uh, I don't use it. Uh, I probably should start, but <laughs> I just got so many different ROMs that I flash and run and test. I, that's just one feature that does, it just does not excite me. So, um, But to each his own, I guess. Uh, let's see. Then, then we have buttons. Uh, of course, underneath the buttons, you have your left-hand mode. Uh, show arrow keys while typing. Uh, your button layout. This is going to be, of course, where you can uh, physically change your buttons. Uh, all you do is move the button where you want. You click save. Um, and, you know, uh, to move them back, you just physically move them back. Uh, click save. Bob's your uncle. Everything's good to go. That's how you do that. Um, let's see. Then you have your power menu. This is what is included on the power menu. Again, this is basic Synogen mod. This is what's included on most all the Synogen mod builds that I've seen lately anyways. Uh, then you have your end call button. Uh, you press power, your power button twice for the camera. Um, I don't, uh, I'll be honest with you, I haven't used that feature yet, so I couldn't really tell you whether it works or not, um, but it's there. Uh, then you have your volume button controls. Uh, for those of you that like to use, uh, listen to music and you want that uh, track skip, uh, this is where you're going to get all that at. Uh, let's see. Then we have lock screen settings. Um, there are not a lot of lock screen settings on here. I would really like to see, uh, weather settings, maybe some color, uh, added where you can, you know, add some color to that. Because right now, if you go to the lock screen, uh, this is pretty much what the lock screen looks like. Um, it's kind of missing, at least to me. Uh, I'd like to see some stuff on that. Uh, but remember guys, this is a vanilla unicorn, not dirty unicorn. Vanilla Unicorn, and it's Vanilla Unicorn for a reason. They do have a lot of custom features, but they don't go over the top like some of these other, uh, you know, well, like Dirty Unicorn or Bliss or uh, Resurrection Remix, all those. Um, even though you know me, guys, I love my custom features. Um, this is more for, uh, the, you know, if, if you're a little on the conservative side, but you do like custom features, and it is a good solid ROM. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that's pretty much it for the lock screen. Um, then you're going to have your notification controls. This is where you're going to have your heads up. Do not disturb. Uh, all of that, you know, um, this is going to be where you set that up. You can filter your notifications, uh, who you want, you know, all that. Um, 
displaying lights. Um, of course, you have your brightness level, adaptive brightness. Uh, if you guys want your, you know, your phone to automatically adjust the brightness according to the time of day and all that, uh, you'd want to have your adaptive brightness on. Uh, you have your live display, which is kind of tweaking that a little bit even further. Uh, then you have your rotation, ambient display, um, tap to wake, uh, double tap to sleep, all that. Remember, you have to have a kernel that supports that if you're going to use that feature, uh, especially the double tap to wake. Um, then you have, of course, your sleep time. You can set that uh, for, your, uh, for your display time shutting down. Uh, then you have your wallpaper control. Uh, LCD density. Uh, this is stock LCD de density right now. I did not change that. It's actually spot on for me. So I'm leaving it at 560. Uh, font size, same thing. I didn't change the font size. This is how it comes flashed. Uh, then, of course, uh, underneath that's going to be some recent settings, uh, show search bar. Uh, I do like the idea that they included the, uh, the RAM memory bar, that feature I use. Uh, then underneath that's going to be your battery lights and your notification lights. Uh, that is how I have mine set up. Uh, they do work. I uh, haven't had any problems with that yet. Uh, and then we have sound control. Uh, this is going to be where you uh, control all of your volumes for your ringtone, media, uh, alarms, uh, your notifications. Uh, you can link your notifications together with the alarm or not. Uh, that's up to you. Um, yeah, that's completely up to you how you do that. Um, I actually do not like uh, to have mine linked. I like to have mine set uh, separately like that. Uh, then you have your phone ringtones. You can set them up. Uh, remember, guys, do not go by what I have. Uh, mine are custom uh, that I added uh, myself. Uh, then you have your other settings. Uh, this is going to be where you can turn on or off uh, other features. Uh, you know, your screen touch sound, stuff like that. Uh, that's where you're going to be setting that up at. Uh, then uh, your vibration controls are all the way at the bottom. And that is pretty much it for the settings on this. Uh, it's like I said, guys, this is pure CM. Uh, not a lot on there. Um, if we go into themes, I will show you the theme I'm running. Uh, if you haven't guessed it by now, uh, the base theme is Flow Blue. Uh, this is the theme I'm running. Uh, I'm actually running the base, uh, which would be what they call um, the style. And I'm also running the icons. I think the icons on this is pretty cool. So, you know, that's what I'm running. Uh, now, for the status bar, I'm since I need a little color up on my status bar, because this ROM is all white on top, guys all white um <laughs> if you want some color uh neon uh, any of the neon um or the neon themes that they have out at the play store uh will give you some color up there uh if you just pick the one called neon colors it's going to give you some orange green and purple kind of mixed uh or orange green and yellow orange green and yellow uh mixed for your wi-fi and your data uh this one here is all green uh which is fine with me i kind of like it um, and then, of course, for my nav bar, that is Vibrance. Uh, that's what I'm running for my nav bar buttons. And my fonts are, I think, um, green, transparent. Transparent green, yes. That's what I'm running for fonts. And that is pretty much my theme. Uh, that is pretty much it. Um, as you can see, guys, these are the apps that come with it. Um, now, when I say included apps, I'm talking about uh, also, the apps that were flashed with the uh, Google Apps package. Um, again, uh, I flashed the uh, uh, the total blackout, or I'm sorry, guys, the team uh, blackout clear uh, package. That's the one that I flashed with this, and it, it's uh, the date on that is uh, March 1st uh, is the uh, date on the Gaps package that I flashed with this. It's working fine. Uh, it is asking me to update some of my apps, of course. Uh, anybody that knows or have used uh, Team Blackout uh, Gaps before, remember, do not update uh, any of the uh, apps that you flash from these. If you do, you're going to lose your theme. Um, and that's it. I mean, it comes pretty standard, uh, but pretty much anything you need or everything you need to run your phone right out of the gate. Uh, I, I, I tucked all of the uh, my downloaded apps uh, in a folder off to the side. And, of course, I am running uh, Nova Launcher. That is my go-to launcher. And the, uh, the wallpaper is from Zedge. So um, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember, uh, this is, uh, again, this is a, uh, a new ROM, at least for the Nexus 6, uh, called uh, Vanilla Uniform. 
Uh, and I will put all the links in the description for you guys to check it out. Uh, I, I want to take this time to thank all of my subscribers, and I will see you again on the next one.